Hello everyone, this is Rob Canyon and I want to welcome you to this video series, a seven part video series called Blog Writing Profits. This is video number one and uh, I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. Uh, the goal for this entire video series is to create you more return visitors, more comments on your blogs and more organic traffic. This uh, video series is going to cover content, top topics to write about, uh, how to really get good plugins to help your blog post, headers, keywords, tags, videos, pictures, and audio, and, and really a couple of bonus videos too. So if you want to subscribe to this uh, video series, you'll get the bonus videos for my subscribers. So let's get right to it. Let's get right to uh, helping you uh, get rocking and rolling. Before I do, I just want to show you something here. Um, at the time of writing this blog post uh, for you and creating this video series, that my blog, this specific blog, has been up and running for about two weeks. And already, as you can see here, there are 108 people linking their websites to my website and, uh, and so forth. And so that's pretty cool. And so it can happen very quick for you. So these these little tips will help you a whole lot. Uh, the reason I wrote this video series is because Alex Jeffries has known about a little bit of my copywriting talents. Some of you may know about six months ago I started a copywriting business and within 30 days was writing for some of the top internet marketers around the world. And uh, so some of those skills have really helped me write great blog posts that bring in traffic. So let's just get right to the point of uh, this video. This video is going to be about the three most important topics um, and so let's see if we can do this right away. You notice here my headline. We'll get into uh, headlines how they're written in other posts but it says my blog copywriting course is and then there's a white space finally here see the YouTube videos. In my uh, estimation uh, it is it creates more curiosity causing the line to break at the after the word is than letting it break where WordPress wants to break it after the word finally. And so I'm going to show you how to do that uh, change where you break it. So let's just do that quickly. I was let's scroll down here. Let's get at the whole article open and we will get to showing you how we did that. We go down here as I said uh, I've written for many top copywriters and people like Yuan Cha. You may know he's um, pretty prolific at uh, writing Clickbank products. Um, you know mostly in the top 25 all the time. I've got some hyperlinks. But let's just for the moment just go down right to the edit link. Go down to the edit link and we're going to get the screen up. You can see it says my blog copywriting course is angle BR close angle finally here see the YouTube videos. So essentially most people will write their headline like this and uh, let me just show you quickly I'll preview the changes when I take that out. You see WordPress has broken it after the word finally and I didn't want to do that. I wanted to break it before that so let's say is I went angle BR angle. Now if you save that it will break it finally just to show you that quickly again and you can see it's broken where I want the line to break and not where WordPress wants it to break. Okay your next tip. Tip number two. We are going to go here. Notice here in the content of my blog post I've written Hello everyone. I realize that uh, I'm about one or two days away, but etc. I want you to recognize two things. One, each paragraph is different sizes. This is a, a couple of words. This is a, about one and a half lines. This is three and a half lines. This is one line. This is three and a half lines. This is two lines, etc. You notice that there are also different lengths. What that does is it creates a lot of variety in a blog post and it basically creates a lot of spice, a lot of interest and keeps people reading. So you, I'm going to show you both how to break one paragraph to the next but also you see this word but here, how it breaks and it holds the next line towards the paragraph. And so that's very important. So let's just back up a second here. Go here. You, I'm going to go down here. Okay, let's go to line two. We'll just move this over here a bit. 
line two. You see where it says, I realize that I'm about one or two days away, uh, two days early, but I'm gonna put my cursor there. I'm gonna hit the space bar, the delete key. It says, I'm just so excited. That's where I wanted to break it. So what you do, if you wanna break the line and keep it close to the paragraph, you hold down the shift key and hit enter, okay? Well, let me show you if you're up here after the word hello everyone you want the paragraph to change so now I'm not going to touch the shift key or the shift key I'm just going to hit enter so basically it's it if you want to break the paragraphs you hit the enter key and if you want to break the par break the line and hold the next line close to the existing paragraph you use the shift enter key perfect that's your tip number two so let's go to tip number three uh, where are we? Where are we? Let's go review the post for a second. Uh, tip number three. Okay, here we are back on the post. And that is this. You notice how the post is written relatively well. There's nice spacing, etc., and all those things. Well, tip number three involves where you write your draft of the post. Many uh, internet marketers, in fact, uh, I learned this by sitting beside Willie Crawford, a top internet marketer. If you don't know who he is, just go to WillieCrawford.com and you'll find out more about him. He sat beside me and I watched him create blog posts on Notepad and not Microsoft Word. And so I said to him, why, why do you do that? And he said, well, Microsoft Word has a lot of underlying code inside of it and it makes it, it, it puts code into the web page if you're trying to use it to cut and paste and put in your blog post. So let me just show you quickly what I mean and that will be your third tip for the day. So let's go to, whoops, let's go to Microsoft Word. Uh, let's change it to here. You see I've created this blog post, uh, etc. I'm just thinking about doing this and you see the spacing is nice. I go control and then the A key and then the control C key to copy it. Then I go back to my post and we'll go on to edit for a second. Let's go to the edit screen. Whoops, there we go. Edit. And there's my good friend Marcus Passy. We'll go to edit. And let's go back to the post I was creating to edit. And we will go, whoops, I put some things there. I'll just delete it. So now if I can do control V, you can see already it's all weird spacing all weird spacing. That's because I wrote it in Microsoft Word and tried to transfer it over. If we hit save and preview the changes, it's 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 going to be weird too. So let me just show you. I'm going to go to I wrote this in WordPad, the same blog post. I'm going to cursor in control A, control C. Let me close that for a second. And then we're just going to go back into the blog post, control A. Let's just delete this. Now I'm going to do control V of what I brought out of Microsoft or out of Notepad and you can see the spacing is so much better and of course when you preview the changes it actually looks great like a blog post so that's your three tips for today and I uh, hope to see you back at video number two uh, let's go back to there and let's go back to previous one okay there we go so uh, hope to see you on video number two and uh, so if you enjoy that or want to come back more either go to blogwritingprofits.com or just come back to the YouTube channel subscribe you get the bonus videos and it'll just be all happening and I know your blog posts are going to be really dynamic so try those three tips on your next blog post and uh, look forward to seeing you in video number two